Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Third Rail Beats, back with another banging tutorial. And this one is on crispy, clear vocals in FL Studio 20.9. I'm going to try to keep this short. The settings are going to be in a free FLP for everybody that watches the video. You can download it from the description. I'm going to leave a link there so you have it. So you don't need to keep rewinding and pausing the video to try to get the exact settings in on my chain. So we're going to jump right in. I have a, now this works for rap vocals, uh, R&B vocals, whatever you have. But there is no auto tune on these vocals at all. That's something another tutorial would take care of. So I have some vocals someone sent me that i'm going to use and i'm going to apply it to my chain now this chain is a starting point because everybody's voice is different so you're going to have to find that just fine tune it okay but it works flawlessly you know just right out the box so here we go i'm going to let you listen to the raw vocals which are here. Get up on your feet. You better get up on your seat. Put your hands together for the man that's gonna bring you to your knees. Get up on your feet. Get up on your seat. Put your hands together for the man that's gonna bring you to your knees. Move faster. Show them how it's done now. Okay, so they're pretty good. Um, I've already found the key that she's in and everything prior to the video. But now we're going to do this. I'm going to show you what I have in my chain. Okay, I have a fruity parametric EQ2. Now, what this does. And I do this for all my artists. I took out all of the low end and boosted the highs. So this is okay. For the pretty, pretty parametric EQ, all I did was boost the high end just a little bit. Okay. Now, for Maximus, I use Maximus as my deesser. If you don't know how to use your Maximus, there's another video for that. I posted one already for mastering. But it's also a de-esser. What you want to do is go to the Dropbox, go to Presets, go to de-esser narrow band, and that will bring you up to this position, and you just move this box where the highs are. Okay, the next thing I have up is my re my my re reverb. That's it. Okay. Once again, I'm going to leave this vocal chain in the description so you can download it for free. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the vocals one more time so you can hear them, and then I'm going to play the vocals in the chain. So you can hear the difference. All right, so here we go. This is the raw vocal. Get up on your feet. You better get up on your seat. Put your hands together for the man that's gonna bring you to your knees. Get up on your feet. Get up on your seat. Put your hands together for the man. It's going to bring you to your knees. Move faster. Show them how it's done now. And now we're going to put it in the chain to see how it works. So I'm going to unhook it from the master. Go to my vocal chain. Make sure it's hooked. Hook this to my vocal chain. And here's with effects. Get up on your feet, you better get up on your seat. Put your hands together for the man 
It's gonna bring you to your knees. Get up on your feet. Get up on your seat. Put your hands together for the man. It's gonna bring you to your knees. Move faster. Show them how it's done now. And for those that don't have a good ear, that amount of reverb is pretty good because that'll get lost in the music. And what that does, it adds ambience and some fullness to the vocal. Well, that's about it for this one. I hope you had a good time here. Hope you learned something. Hope this brings you value. Let me know either way if it does or doesn't in the comments below. More videos to come.